We've also got the option to create a new custom tab. Left click and select empty tab and let's give it a name. I'll call it my tab. Now we can grab and drag any desired tools here. This is a good way to bring in tools that you use frequently that may not be customary. To delete the tab, just right click and select delete. Now let's go to the menus tab on the customize dialog window. Here's where we customize the commands that are available on the standard windows menu. On the keyboard tab, we can create custom shortcuts that we use the keyboard for. For example, when I press down Ctrl and W at the same time, I enter the shortcut here for close. Now let's go to the mouse gestures tab. In order for me to explain what this is, I'm just going to show you because there's no point trying to talk about it. When I right click on my mouse and move it, I see a wheel with four different tools available. These are mouse gestures. I can move my mouse in any of these four directions to activate that particular tool. So that's what you get if mouse gestures are enabled. Now let's go back to the Customize Command Manager, Mouse Gestures tab. Here we select whether to enable or disable mouse gestures. We can also opt to include a wheel with four or eight gestures. Let's check here, show only commands with mouse gestures assigned. Mouse gestures are available for four different environments, part, assembly, drawing, and sketch. The arrows next to the icon show which position it's assigned to. To change the mouse gesture, just left click to open the drop down menu and then select from one of these alternate gestures. You can also select none. 